G7 presents Album Reviews with G7. Today's album, G7, Songs from 2009. What made you want to make this album? Um, the reason why I made this album is because it was, it was time to just put something together, to piece it together and play something out there. Um, I had placed it, I was working through SoundClick, and I was just posting beats. I was posting every song that I possibly could make up there. And I made an album before this. I made three albums before this, and they're pretty good. Um, I haven't posted posted my double disc yet, but I posted the one before that, um, the first, the very first one. But this is my first official album, and that's what made me want to make this album is because of those three albums. And I was working with a lot of different people at the time, and I was trying to give up beats and make beats and just be known. That was about it. So, who were you working with at the time? I was working with um, Species. It's a group, um, and it's a lot of people. Um, you know, I was mainly working with Paco and and Kadena and Yanka. Um, they make a lot of great records back then, and I was working with them back in 2009. Had a lot of beats too, and um, that's about it. Um, that's that's mainly what I was working with the most during that time. I made this album. Your production is awesome. Who made all the production, or did you work with a producer? If you don't know, I make all my beats. Um, recently. No, but on this album, I made all the beats on this album because um, that's that's what I mainly wanted to do. I just want to make my own music um, just for practice because I was working with different people. I was working with Species, and that's one of the reasons why I did my own music so I can make sure that their music was mixed right so I can have the best mix. Now, on this album, I did everything on MP3 instead of a WAV file. So that's one of the reasons why some of the songs, the vocals, a side track because I used I used um, MP3s instead of WAV files. I should have used WAV files back then, which were larger files, but I chose not to do it because I wanted to spend more time on other people's music instead of mine. So yeah, I did all the production, just full production. I saw that video, Gary's Garbage, and I wanted to know, did you expect that truck to be there that morning when you recorded it? Because I knew when you, I saw the video and, and it was kind of shocking that you had a, a garbage truck in the video. Yeah, that video, Gary's Garbage, it was a coincidence because I made a video the day before and it was for like a song off my third album. And I did that video just because of the fact that I was doing videos for Paco. You know what I'm saying? And I did a video for him online. You can check that video out. And, um, yeah, that's the only reason why I did that video. And that 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 garbage truck that, that was in that video, it was just a big coincidence. You know, I saw it, and you could tell that I saw it. And you and I was in front of the camera when I, when I saw it, and you could tell that I looked. I was like, wow, there's a garbage truck right there. I can record that with, while I'm spitting my vocals. So that's how that video went. And I did a lot of different things in that video. So, yeah. You recorded a lot of music. Where did you record your music at? Oh, yeah, if you haven't looked at the back cover of the album, I recorded it in Summer's Room, and I recorded it um, near the kitchen. Um, I recorded in North Carolina, if you don't get what I'm saying. Um, I recorded it at, at, at my main studio where I was working with Species, and that's mainly it. Um, that's about it. That's that's where I recorded my music at. I recorded at Paco's house, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we had a lot of fun out there recording music, making music, and yeah, that's where I recorded my music at. You have a lot of albums online, and this is very creative. Will there ever be another one like this one? Now, my fourth album is kind of like this album, but the fourth album has a lot of lot more songs on it because the, some of the songs that were on my fourth album was, were supposed to have been on my second album, my third album, and my fifth album. So my fourth album is kind of like my first album, but it's kind of like it's not my first my first album because because I try not to put one verse on a song and just leave it be. I try to add at least two or three verses on a song. Sometimes 
I scratch a third verse and have another song, but sometimes I'll use that particular verse for that song or make it as a remix or have somebody else hop on that particular song. Something I haven't done yet, but I feel like it's, it's a good it's, it's a good thing, but there will be another one like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I have an, another album like that. If you don't mind me asking, which song on this album did you listen to the most? The song I listened to the most was Gary's Garbage. Um, that's a song I really didn't like. It was just a practice song because I, I had came across the genre of music called um, I came across a genre of music called nerdcore, and I wanted to make like something funny and something hip. So that's the reason why I did. Um, that's why I li- that's why I did the song, and that's why I listened to that song the most. The other songs that people listened to was um, fake stories. Um, Nah, nah, not fake stories, cause they just love the beat on that. And um, it was um, I forgot the name of the song, man. I I just listened to the album j- just for this interview, and I don't know, man. But other than that, um, whack, whack, and rotten, you know, rotten onions. That was my favorite tracks. Those are the tracks I listen to the most, and I listen to Wild for the Night too, because. Because that particular beat is like my favorite beat on the whole album. Um, and the first song up there um, is the song I like the most and that I really want to listen to the most because um, it's about people, it's about me losing my notebook and how I felt towards people finding my notebook and reading my notebook as soon as they found it. And that's about it. <laughs>